there is complete airway obstruction, a cricothyroidotomy should be performed. This emergency life-saving procedure allows rapid entrance into the airway for oxygenation and ventilation in patients whom airway control is not possible by other methods. It is indicated when all other maneuvers for airway control have been attempted without success. Direct visualization with a laryngoscope should be attempted to clear the airway by using McGill forceps to remove any foreign bodies if indicated. When the diagnosis of severe upper airway obstruction is made and the decision is made to perform a cricothyroidotomy, the following procedure should be followed. Hyperextend the patient's neck unless a cervical spine injury is suspected. This position brings the larynx and the cricothyroid membrane into the extreme anterior position. Locate the cricothyroid membrane between the cricoid and thyroid cartilages by palpating the depression caudal towards the feet to the midline Adam's apple. Clean the area well with betadine solution. Using a scalpel, make a vertical incision through the skin large enough to accommodate the Shiley tube over the cricothyroid membrane. If necessary, spread the soft tissues to better visualize the cricothyroid membrane. Find the cricothyroid membrane and make a one centimeter incision in the horizontal plane through the membrane, avoiding any nearby nerves, arteries, and veins. At this point, it is necessary to enlarge the opening in the cricothyroid membrane to allow insertion of the tracheostomy tube. This can be done by using a hemostat or by inserting the handle of the scalpel into the opening and twisting it to open the space between the cricoid and thyroid cartilages. It is very important not to aim any instrument cephalid towards the head since injury to the vocal cords may occur. Insert the Shiley tracheostomy tube caudally through the incision and remove the beveled stylet. If a tracheostomy tube is not available, a number six endotracheal tube can also be used and entrance may be facilitated by use of a stylet. Ventilate the patient by hand with a bag valve or with a ventilator at the highest available oxygen concentration. Auscultate lung sounds for proper placement. If present, inflate the cuff with 10 cc's of air and secure the tube in place.